Let's play Return to Monkey Island. We are at the Mo Mealy Island. And look like everyone have a problems with the Madison Pirate. We are heading to the shipyard to try to find the ship for us to get to adventure to find the secret of Monkey Island. And there is the lead, lead shocks ship. He is ready to go. He, he's packing his ship. I will almost say car. <laughs> you have a ship there. Anyway, let's go to the shipyard to see what we have there. Wow, that's worse than I imagined. Yeah, it's totally empty. Tans. <laughs> Stans. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. Oh. What do we have here? Empty dock. Nothing we have here. Remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival? Indeed. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Well, take it. Maybe need it. Oh. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Uh, not able to take. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. Hmm. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Oh, let's see that window. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? How can I open it? Do we have anything to use there? Nah. I don't have anything here. God damn it. No tools or anything to do that. Let's go back. Anything anything interesting here? There's the forest. Nothing else. Let's go to see the forest. We found something. Okay. What we have here? There's a deer. Forest where... Get lost. Great sign. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Moi. My dog is here again. Mitä kake? How kake doing? This is the good time. Every time when I play, he come to see. Maybe he want to play also. How are you doing? Go to sleep. Menu. Menu. Go to sleep. If we can play this. If we can play this half hour, be okay. Oh, what is this place? Oh, I used to love these when I was six. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. <laughs> Museum of Pirate Lore. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Do we want to? Let's go. A classic specimen of Alata Needleus. 
a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Ew. Ooh, purple flowers. These must be catmint, or wisteria, or sweet rocket. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Where else we can go? We'd be already at the shipyard, at museum, be closed. Do we go again? Yeah, we go there again. What we have here? It's just looking around, don't see anything. Uh, continue. Let's go to the Lechok's shipyard. Shipyard. Let's go to the Lechok's ship. The only place where this is the only place where he doesn't interact a lot. Back again. I'd like to discuss an officer position of some sort. Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be second mate. Yeah. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. <laughs> I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? Uh. How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? No problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can do <laughs> I have a lot to do today. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew Lechuk. No relation. What a coincidence. Lechuk gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. Oh. I'm sorry. Can't God. Hurry. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, hmm. slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. Yeah. What can I say to you? Start the mutiny. What do we have here? John Lechak's crew. Not able to get ship. Solve problem. Quartermaster recognizes me and won't hire me. Get a mop. Seize Lechak's ship at the earliest opportunity. Find the secret of Monkey Island and relieve glory days. Relief. Relief. Relive. Uh, yeah. And how we do that? Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison. Would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. What's going on? He's followed him. Hey, Wally! 
Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Yeah. I happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. Well, I was hoping the <laughs> more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Oh, that is good clue. We should go to try that. I'm looking for a map through the forest. What are you trying to find in the forest? I don't know. Nothing in particular. Then having a map won't really be any different than wandering around lost, will it? Yeah, but I mean, well, never mind. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Can I take it? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, oh. it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Thanks. We need that. We need the monocle to get the number, the lock number from the jail so we can free the Otis. Or what's his name? Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. Okay. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, Rating, Cursed Black Diamond. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. Hey Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Hey, Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. 
I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. It doesn't have anything else. Anything else here? Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Everything is spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. Keep up the good work, buddy. It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. It says everything must go. But it says it with numbers. Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. Too bad it's empty. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now, but I believe I could restore its abilities. Okay. So we can get the disguise uh, from the museum, the eye patch, so she can make it to us. That way we can get into LeChuck's ship. My merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. So, this is the reason why you should look everything to find the clues. And some way it's unfold. Unfold uh, the story or the progress of the game. What else we can have? Look this. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Nice. Now we have a frog. Oh, I'd like this knife. An oh. excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. 
Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Nice. Now we have a knife. But we can, can't use anywhere. Hey, it's a good thing we come here. What's cooking? The Feast of Knowledge. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Mops. I don't suppose you sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scum bar. Okay. We have to go to see the cook. Oh. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Okay. Thank you. So. Mobs. We can get the mobs from the cook. First, we, we go to the jail. Try to get the the lock code so we can make the key at the key smith uh -huh. meanwhile lechuck sir just thought i'd pop in and let you know preparations to set sail are almost done you have all the supplies for the spell to get to monkey island check squid ink chickens brimstone cinnamon monkey blood mint and an annoying skull well done Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island, knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. 
Ja. Oh. He know what we are doing. What are you doing there? Things are not what they seem. Deep. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. Okay, let's use the... Use this one. What's this name? Monocle. Use the monocle to... I can the numbers. Number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Nice. You say the only real prison is the one in your head. But take it from me, that's a load of barnacles. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here! I'll make it my number three priority. What you up to? Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up, with your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Well, don't worry yourself about it then, son. I found a dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. Okay. See you later. Yep. Yep. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Yeah. Thank you. Can I have that? No. That was handy. Hey, Guybrush. Hey. hey. You went out. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. I don't remember this place being so leaky. There we go. Let's go to the cook. To scum bar. Can we have the mop from there? Oh, you. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. All oh, their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. He's from the first Monkey Island. And he's advertising the Loom game. This was a uh, new game in that time. I'm gonna come. The secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than <laughs> man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Uh, say it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. I have played 
the loom and let's say it's over 20 years ago I played and I doesn't play through I just a little bit the start of the game it was good a little bit strange I don't want to talk with you I brush three wood as I live and breathe. How have you been? Eh, same old, same old. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well... Tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Okay. So any tree is okay. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course. But pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first... I had to make a mop. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm going to steal the chucks. Bold. I like your thinking. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Uh, the cook seems to be a nice guy. Ah, uh, that was our call that we have to end this play now and have a good one.